Hello everybody. Let me introduce myself. I am deep sea captain Vladimir Hudov. We'll try to explain understandably usage of maneuvering boat for the decision of navigation tasks in a view of safe navigation at sea. This is first lesson. Introduction. True and relative motions. Maneuvering boat. Well, so to begin with, imagine please one vessel on our starboard side, little ahead of the beam. The bearing is changing to a bow slightly. How to define if this vessel is dangerous for us? From the point of view close quarter situation and is there a danger of collision exist? It may be calculated differently. First method, analytical. If you know the elements of motion both vessels, such as course and speed, you should create combined equations of these motions and solve it out, as usually doing ARPA, automatic radar plotting device. This method is difficult, also taking a lot of time. The second mathematical way, graphic method, by means of vector, which is the most usable, because by the vector we can set course and speed at once. That is why the method is rather fast and evident as well. True motion. Well, at first we try to solve this navigation task in true motion, using 6 minute vector. A logical question is why 6 minutes and not 8 or 10, by the reason on convenience usage of this scale, and as well ours. Speed at sea is measuring in knots, which corresponds quantity of miles per hour. 6 minutes is one tenth of hour, and it's very easy to convert in this scale, just shift point one figure left, to reduce in 10 times. For example, 12 knots corresponds to a vector 1.2 mile. Graphic construction are simply and clear. It is visible that in case if ships keep their course and speeds, the vessel B will cross our course vessel A on 15 minutes in a distance of 0.8 mile. Unfortunately, the plotting in true motion is long and tiresome, owing necessity to do graphics for both vessels. However, one good and rational idea, such as using of 6 minute vectors, we will take for use in relative motion. Relative motion. Is it possible to speed up and simplify calculation? Yes, gentlemen, such possibility is giving a relative moment, and I am going to demonstrate that. Let us consider motion of target vessel B concerning our vessel A, and we will avoid to do graphics construction for the both vessels. But at first we will a little refresh the rules of addition and subtraction of vectors. As we are treating motion concerning our vessel A, it means that a vector of relative motion will be equal differences between our motion and motion of target vessel B. In addition, vector of the target vessel is the result of some two vectors, relative and own vectors. This graphic construction, illustrated on figure 2, named 6-minute vector triangle, and consists from two true course speed vectors, own and target ship movements and one relative vector, a result of their subtraction. Now the same movement of two vessels will look so. You can see that the target ship B is moving relative to static ship A along red line named relative movement line and correspond of motion both vessels. We have achieved that wanted. Now no need additional graphic construction and calculation become simpler. Also the same elements of motion as time and distance of crossing has been got much faster. This approaching maneuver, close quarter situation, on the radar screen will look the same if using 12 miles scale. It is additional plus, as we go in to carry out all graphic constructions and calculation on the imitation of this screen, on the maneuvering boat. Maneuvering boat MB. So MB, as it was told above, 
imitation of the radar 12 miles screen on the boat. Maneuvering boat grid is marked in a direction. The circle is divided into 360 degrees and in a distance with the price of division 1 cable. FATA 10 circles marked nautical miles. There are no problems to draw any 6 minutes vector characterizing any movement with any course and speed. Nobody forbid using 3 minute and 12 minute vectors. Indeed, sometimes it's practicing. But it's not so convenient, because a 3 minute vector is too small in this scale and 12 minute is too large and demand additional calculation when converting. I don't advise to use vector velocity, a liquid figure 2, for example 5 or 7, you get tight to calculate. So, briefly, using 6 minute vector optimum variant for the decision of the navigation task on the maneuvering boat. You have to remember that during transition from scale to scale on radar screen the length of 6 minute vector and consequently as well the scale of graphic construction will be changed. Good luck gentlemen, thank you and hope see you again next lesson.